Well, 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 we find ourselves back at the train station. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the vlog. As you guys can tell from the starting clip, we are down at the train station. And that is because today is day one of a very important week for Rangers. We lost at the weekend to Motherwell. This week, we play Benfica in the Europa League. It is bounce back game, and we are going to Portugal, in case you couldn't tell. We're kitted up, we're good to go. We're now just waiting the train up to Manchester Airport. So, that is us now in Manchester, where we just need to go and get our next train. Tell you what though, I didn't realise it was as much as a trek to get to the actual airplane transfer, airport transfer. But damn. So, there we are, 16.15 to Faro. Through security we go. Oh, first one to hold it. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. And uh, here we go. So, after an eventful flight, that is us in Faro. We're now on our way to our Airbnb, booking.com accommodation. We're going to our accommodation. Airport's literally right there. And we're already about halfway to it, so... Great! Right next to the airport! I mean, this was looking absolutely beautiful when we were going by the way, but we did pay £30 ahead for this, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. One it's one night. <laughs> so, we found the... <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd say hotel, uh, but we found our room. Um, <laughs> it's certainly... Interesting, the location, I'll say that. Uh, might look a bit better in daytime, but as it stands, holy shit. Well, at least we're getting our daily steps in. We walked all the way down for this place here, which is meant to be a bouncing sports bar, open to four in the morning, according to Google, and it's shut. It's meant to be a party thing, and it's shut. That's a fact. So... Walk back, by the time we get back now, get into bed. Well, might be going somewhere. I don't know. If we find somewhere on the way back, we might. But fuck knows. Don't you touch it, Derek. No, it. I'm not Look touching it. it. Touch you it. touch it. <laughs> We're not joking. The phone line fit up on there. <laughs> Done. And it's just running across the road. So that is us, we've found our spot for the... I'm good mate, I'm fine with the way it is. <laughs> Gaffer's not a fan of how strong Havana white rum is. <laughs> he is not happy about that. <laughs> Alright there Gaffer. <laughs> I wish you said 1-0 Rangers. <laughs> but um... Yeah, so we found just a little nice little cafe place just two minutes up the road from where we're staying. Both Champions League games on tonight. And that's it. Travel day finished. Enjoy your drinks, watch some football. And then tomorrow, the trip to... The day ball. two here in beautiful Faro. Uh, and we're just waiting in the coach now to head up to Lisbon. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Three hour trip, something like that. So we're just going to kill time here. I mean, look at the view. It's not exactly, it's not exactly a bad view to kill time waiting for a bus. You know what I mean? So day two, up to Lisbon, via McDonald's. Let's go.
now been a little bit of change of outfit today. This is now off because we're actually going to be going to the Sporting Lisbon Atalanta game. Hopefully. Tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We've bought the tickets from StubHub. We're still waiting for them to come through. If they come through, great. If not, we'll get them refunded. Hey, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so not only so I'm not wearing a Rangers top into that, but also so I can keep this for tomorrow because while we were in the, uh, the Uber, these two, mainly Gaffer, we'll give Gaffer credit. He's the one that got the message and everything. Oh, the real life friend. The, the, real the, contact. the, the, real, the real life friend with all his Rangers contacts. Not, not, not the big Rangers YouTuber or anything, but the real life friend managed to get us three tickets for the fucking win. So that top's getting worn tomorrow now instead. We're in with the Rangers fans. Yes. I knew Lisbon was built in a hill. But fuck that. Uh, can I go back? And I'll tell you what, we've came down for the main viewpoint there. But what a view. Ooh. To, I don't actually know where before we get an Uber up to the Sporting Lisbon Stadium because the tickets have came through we've got the tickets for that we're sorted and uh, yeah now it's the downhill section and you can kind of tell how steep that is behind me already uh, those stairs were not fun uh, car boys but yeah, so come to Lisbon if you fancy uh, some hill walking with you. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, we are now outside the Sporting Lisbon Stadium. I don't know what it's called, but Sporting's ground. And uh, yeah, we are seated just up that way, opposite corner for the ultras. So should be some good footage we get. That means you should be near at that. So as we were kind of explaining to Gaffer there in his first European trip, the police do not fuck around here. They are lined up all the way down to the visitors bit. So I'm guessing that Atalanta fans will come in from behind me here, down here, down the road where the police are lining it. Uh, the interesting thing about it is though, however, where we have got tickets for, that one right there, gate 12, is our gate where we go in and we are going to be sat up at the top there. To the left of gate 12, you've got gate 1 and 2, and then to the left of gate 2 is actually the visitors. So we are two sections away from the Atalanta fans. This could get interesting, but I am very excited for this match. See how it goes. Who's going to come away the victor? Is it going to be Sporting Lisbon? Is it going to be Atalanta taking the lead into the second leg of the game? Who knows? Let's find out in the game. So Gaffer, thoughts in the Lisbon Stadium? Yeah, apart from the colours, obviously. Uh... So far it's pretty decent, but once we get inside, we'll be able to see what it's more, more about. Again, this is a game for us, we don't really care, but this is a camp before the storm tomorrow. Where's Steely gone? He's, he's getting the ah, coat. There he is. He's over there. What are you looking at, Steely? And here we go. This will be interesting. Gate 12, here we come.
this is by the way I think boys for 20 quid a ticket the view we got we nailed it what a view of the pitch we are going to have now we are sat a little bit further along there the away fans are right there I don't know if the actual video will pick up the mesh or not I don't even know if you can hear me over the music considering the speakers are right there above us but uh, yeah we've got Steely recording for the vlog there we've got obviously the Europa League down on the pitch <laughs> what a decision this was by the way Gaffer good call on this one credit to Gaffer for this one good call on it his first, his first European away trip, he gets his tickets for the away end, suggests the Lisbon Atalanta game. You can come in more, mate. He can come in more. I'm going to be honest now when you look at it full empty section up there how many empty seats all the way around I'm kind of disappointed with the show for the Lisbon fans for this you're what how long before kick off five minutes before kick off and the stadium is this empty oh no However, on the opposite end, the away side has filled up pretty quickly. The Atalanta fans here in full force. We've got the ultras front and centre with what I believe is a Union Jack down there. So, that'll be interesting. Thank you. for a goal kick of all things could have went anywhere rolled right along the touchline uh, for a goal kick off the inside of the post that's brutal and literally as soon as I finish filming that clip they've just hit the post again Gaffer oh my god <laughs> mate yeah they're still they're still there everybody's gone oh hi we'll see we'll see Lisbon had any 
bigger players playing for them, I'm not too sure. Maybe be the fact they've got a limited edition top for them. We've not really got a horse in the race, so we're leaving about 20 minutes early so that we can get an Uber, get down, beat all the football traffic and everything, and then go link up with the Rangers fans back down in the city centre. So uh, here we go. After a successful night out where as you can maybe hear my voice is going, Gaffer is absolutely fucked and still he's stranded all the way down there. I hope the camera's picking this up, how bad this rain is, I really do. So we're currently stood under an awning waiting for this to die. <laughs> And if the other camera didn't pick it up bad enough, then yeah, here is the rain we're having to walk back in. We've got 20 minutes back to the apartment. I think I'm waiting under this, thank you very much. So it is now officially game day. And the weather hasn't really eased up any, as you can probably tell from the state of me again. It's not as bad as last night currently, but uh, still pretty wet. So thankfully the rain has stopped for a little bit, although right as we bought these, we've got like five minutes use out of them, then the rain stopped. And I mean, I'd show you, but there's a tram in the way there now. We're down at the front, at the big main square. And uh, oh, they're both moving actually, you might see now. But yeah. Right down at the front on the harbour coming in, going up towards the bridge that we came over yesterday that you guys have seen the shot of the uh, naval boat on. So we shall see, we shall see. But anyway, I think right now we're on the hunt for some food and some drinks. So as you can tell now from the view with the UB flag going down there, we're in the stadium boys and we are in the away end with the Rangers fans. We would have been that fence just there, other side of that, but we managed to get in here and it is looking to be... Whew.
Right, uh, so we're up in Lisbon. I'd say the more modern bit now. Uh, and we've just kind of went a walk down towards the harbour a bit. And we've actually found this pretty cool spot here. Oh. Sorry, Gaffer. Where you just so walk nice. across the stones and uh, everything like that across the water. It's actually pretty fucking pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to take a walk about and see what else we can see over here. And we'll see where we go through there. And in the left lane we have oh it's Steely in the right lane we have Gaffer97 and they're coming down the home stretch. Steely in the lead! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So as it stands, we're now kind of chilling here. Uh, we've got some some of the powered scooters because uh, we actually walked quite a fair distance. So we're on these for the way back. Now we were going to go up on those cable cars, but the weather is not the best right now. And it was 10 euro for literally like what? 150 meters, 200 meters across that bit. Not worth it, so instead, we're on these, having fun. You wouldn't believe that that last clip I filmed where I looked dry was literally about a minute and a half, two minutes ago. And now look at this light at me. Uh. <laughs> look at his glasses. <laughs> for bastard, for Reese. <laughs> oh god. Literally. You done me well, one DSXG, you done me well. But you're going back with your people now. And what an away to end, what a way rather, to end the away trip as it has been all fucking week, pissing it down. Sat in the airport for two and a half, three hours, the minute we get onto the plane, lovely. And with that being said guys, that was the last clip I recorded of the Benfica away trip, just getting on the plane there. I'll be honest with you, we were soaked, we were wet, all of us were coming down with the cold, as you can maybe hear a little bit in my voice and my throat. Uh, and we had to watch along to do today as well, so it was um, a home, bed, watch along. And here we are now, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the Benfica away trip, I appreciate you guys. And if you were there, hope you had a great time watching the game. And you guys probably will feel just as kind of hard done by and as disappointed as I am with the way that game went. It's a draw that feels like a loss, unfortunately, due to Connor Goldson on goal, who, funnily enough, today, actually against Hibs, made a lot of mistakes as well. And, uh, yeah, he's not been looking in the best of form recently. But either way, guys, this isn't just a football vlog. This isn't just a football channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the full experience of being away in Lisbon, the viewpoint, the night everything hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog you know what to do if you did please do leave a like down below and if you're on your end here then subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one but for me that is all you guys enjoy the rest of your monday evening as you guys are watching this i love y'all and i'll see y'all next time Bye bye